if we want to go to 280, 290, 300 BPMs, we have to switch and shift to the finger motion. So let's break down this finger motion and let's see in details all the steps that we have to face to make this grip right. The first thing that we will notice is that when we start the first stroke, we never start just by using our fingers and pushing the stick with our fingers. But we will start with an arm stroke, okay? As we usually do, the first stroke is just letting the arm fall, and then from there we will have to control with the fingers. So in the first stroke, what I do, it's a kind of a push-pull with the fingers. So as the stick hits the surface, I open my hand so that I then can control the stick only with the fingers. So the opposite of what we usually do with the wrist, we open the hand so that we find ourselves in this situation when where we have to just then squash the um, squeeze the fingers and have the push motion of the the French grip. So having this push pull is very helpful. After this, of course, we have to so we accept the rebound in this part and we just have to um, maintain the rebound. So as I was saying before, uh, we will have to work on the opening of the hand and not only the squeezing part. So here my concentration goes in opening the hand and not pressing down so that I don't uh, reduce the dynamic and I don't end up doing a nervous squish pressing motion but I have a good range of control and of motion. So let's now see a few workouts that we can do to work on the French grip. We can use heavier sticks to get used to the rebound. Uh, these are aluminium sticks that I um, often use and I don't use them to become stronger but I use them to feel if I'm doing the right things because if I will lift the stick or do anything wrong with this I will feel it straight away because they're so heavy that you will just feel it, you will get tired after five strokes instead if I'm doing the right things I'm not, I won't feel the weight of the stick and it means that I'm completely synchronized with the rebound and what I'm doing is correct. So I suggest you to um, use heavy sticks for one part of the exercise. I usually start uh, with heavier sticks so that um, then I will just correct all the things that I have to correct and then go on my regular drumsticks. So the first workout is going to be playing two measures for each hand, so eight strokes for each hand so that we work on accepting the rebound and then maintaining the first strokes which is the harder part to um, work on. Uh, most of the times we have we tend to start in, in a weird way kind of choking the rebound and then after one bar or something having the, the rebound back so it's good to instead be prepared from the first stroke and so this this workout will allow us to actually work on that and uh, um, really focus only on the first part on the in injection part of this uh, the, the French grip so let's work on accepting the rebound with the French grip So let's remember to 
do the kind of a push pull after the first stroke and then to isolate completely the wrist from uh, the finger motion so that we don't involve the wrist and it's clearly only a finger motion French grip uh, and not any kind of weird motion. Then we can go back and using our regular sticks and do the same exercise. Of course, it's going to feel much better with your regular sticks than with heavier sticks, but um, with the heavy sticks, you can really feel all the mistakes, so it's a great way of uh, really working on this, uh, on this grip. Um, another suggestion that I give you is to um, focus the push of these four fingers with the middle fingers finger, because it's the finger that has bigger muscles it compared to all these four fingers. So the middle finger has to be like the main uh, part of the push of these four fingers, of this part of the hand. So let's think of the middle finger when we do this exercise more than other, uh, the other fingers. But let's also make sure that we don't only push with a few fingers but we actually use all the four fingers to do this motion if not we will just take advantage of two fingers out of four which means that we give more work to just a few part of our hand and will um, it will make it more difficult it will be more difficult for us to reach to, to stay relaxed and, and reach certain speeds for a long period of time because we're stressing one part of the hand instead of having all the work um, divided uh, on all fingers which of course it's gonna be uh, easier and will keep us more relaxed.